Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What am I doing here today? I'm here to actually play the game because uh, BB's banner just came up and that also means that BB Strengthening came out. Woo! So I'm just gonna actually do this so I can uh, do <laughs> upgrade my summer BB. I've been too busy trying to finish Trom as quickly as possible and rooting through it all, so I've just neglected all the new strength things that have come out so far, and the one I still need to do for Saber Altar over there. So yeah, that's gonna be today's video. Let's go right into it, and if you wanna know, I assume if you already summoned for Summer BB, if you've already tell me how you did, um, I think she's a really good unit. Um, she's a really fun unit, and this uh, skill that she gets is gonna help her just deal a little bit more damage. Uh, so if you're interested in actually checking out how she does, then I guess you can use this video for that. Um, but here you go. Here's the team. I'm gonna be putting BB in. The nice thing is that I can show off at least the little bit of the grinding bits because the first two um, parts of the strengthening are gonna be me actually fighting like three, three, three teams. So that would be a looping kind of scenario. And then the final team is more something set up for like single type quests. But I also assume that I'll just be able to completely destroy it. This is my BB. Nothing too crazy extra about her. She does have MP2. First two skills are at level 10, and the last skill is level 5, because I didn't really need those extra crit stars, really. Uh, the good part of that ability is not tied to how many crit stars you get. So let's go in there. So yeah, I really like Summer BB. I think she's a really good unit. She's always kind of stayed a very good unit. And the reason is, is because the third skill offers you something that literally no other game offers you. In, in that it well a couple units have the ability but it basically just breaks the game uh so let me see i can look here i can go here i can go here i don't think i'll need to so i think all what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna activate the faceless moon i have enough bb stuff so i think it should be fine i also think i'm not gonna need it at all <laughs> as i'm just gonna completely devastate them Destroy him out of the sky. I think they also updated the MP2, I think. Let me see. No, I don't think they did. No, they did, they did. I forgot. I have my BB set on to random costume because I like all the outfits that she has for summer, so I just have them in constant rotation. So I activate that, get that. Activate that, get that. And yeah, I can just do another full BB loop <laughs> with all the cards. Um, and in this case, it's funny because I typically what I would want to do is try and get both of her Buster cards, but Mighty Chain is coming up. So I have to start getting into the idea of like, maybe I should start looking into actually going and trying to get for Mighty Chain stuff too. <laughs> Someone called that, uh, called that out on me most recently because they're like, hey, you really don't like servants who are designed this way, but you know, such and such, whatever is coming. Mighty Chain is coming, so how do you feel about that, smartass? He didn't say smartass, but that's what I felt. Um, and my answer was like, yo, I forgot. So, <laughs> here's everything. I think BB just kills with all the crit bonuses, because right now, under the three turn Toy and Skya, she should have like 100% crit combined with everything else. I don't think I even need to NP and switch on to the Mothman, but I'm gonna... I'll see. I think I might... Yeah, okay, this guy's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Soul Eater. Yeah, I love, man. I love Summer BB. That ability to just, like, lock in your stuff and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna need this for the final fight. So here you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. There you go. Give some nice, uh... Uh, <laughs> friendship up for the dudes in the back. Alright, second verse, same as the first. Now, the one thing I'm not sure of is how well she actually does with someone like Merlin, some of the other Buster dudes, but um, I think she should probably be fine. Again, the ability to kind of just uh, lock in can definitely help a whole bunch. Oh, okay, let down here. I'll oh, activate this again. Also, the fact that this ability can come back pretty frequently. I think actually the the second one should be able to come back. Seven turn cooldown. I think it is. I'll have to pay attention on this one, but I think it should. Let me see. And there's no 2BB here, so you know what? Just gonna shoot off the NP and call it a day. No reason to use that third skill just yet. Here she is, white BB here to slap them all up. 
That's still a really cool MP. Even after all these years of how long this summer was. Three BBs, perfect. Go here. And slap him up once again. C, C, C. It's funny that even though this is set to random costumes, both of the costumes have been <laughs> the classic BB outfit. There we go. Destroyed once again. Let's see who's here at the end. Young Gafau. I do I have bonus against? I should. And let's see. No, it would be off by just a little bit. Okay, good to know. I'm pretty sure that this is just once again solos, but I could be wrong on this one. Never mind. <laughs> this it wins in the day at the end of the day, even with only a single Buster card. Take that. Get it here. Okay. Let me see. Alright, and let me just wait one moment. Alright, there we go. That should have it all fixed. Um, I'm gonna go in here. And it's really funny that, like, even when this is a rank up for specifically a moon cancer enemy, they still don't make you fight multiple Avengers at once. <laughs> this is It's always the one thing about AoE Moon Cancers that makes it hard to be like, oh yeah, they're... The problem is, is that they only deal damage against Avenger types. They only have type advantage against Avenger types. It just rarely ever comes up. And here I am literally doing um, a BB style... Uh, a, B, a BB themed um, fight. And not a single one of these dudes is Avenger. Like, n not a single one of them. Okay, so this is, okay, not a good time to use that. So go here. Go here. Go here. And let me see, this will probably be... Depending on who the other two dudes are. Now, before I lock in, the one thing I have to say about the third skill, before you lock in all the command codes, is that if you do use the command switch, it does change it. So, if you are going to use the command switch, it's probably a good idea to do it first, and then change it. Oh! See, and there you go. The, the mention of sometimes a moon cancer just sometimes won't clean up the board on occasion. There we go. Okay. These might take a little bit longer. Ooh, but two busters. Okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bring him in. Then I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go here. Here to lock it in. Actually, could I just kill right here? I feel like BB won't be able to actually reach the top percentage. Let me see, I'm at MP2. If I use Mothman's big buster hit... Hmm, I don't think the MP will do enough damage. So I'll hold on to it. This will at least kill one of the other two in the back. I definitely wanted to try and risk it, but the problem is, is that um, it would not have <laughs> worked out great for me. I think there was a way to kill here. It was It was use one of the buster cards on one of the ones in the back and then the other one on after NP and stuff. Yeah. That's okay. Dunk on him. Just means more BB animation. How dare you. Alright. Go here. Go here. Self modification. Go here. And you know what? I'll let BB take a nap after this. And then do one here. I'm pretty sure this just kills instantly, but just to be sure, would it have been enough damage? I would have needed to do an additional 70,000 with that. Uh, I don't think it would have been enough, but we'll see. Mm, 
it would have been real close. I actually do think if I had uh, focused in on it, I would have been able to do it. And the other nice thing about that was that she was also reducing their MP gauge while she was doing all that too. So even less chance of them being able to hit you with an MP and stuff. Yay! BB stuff get. Yeah! BB rank up. Let's go. Rank EX. Uh, and yeah. I got my BB stuff in now. Cool. I should really level up her final skill. I really don't think you need level 10. Because the level 10 on the third skill only gives you what? 10 crit stars per turn as opposed to getting 7 at level 5? I mean, I could get it to level 6. I really don't think... <laughs> I really don't think... The three additional crit stars is worth the time and investment required to go into the final levels. The other thing that's good is that it comes back sooner. That's actually probably the the more key thing. Because if you do cooldown to six, then if, in, with Vich combined, you would have basically a, six turns of whatever cards you want to use all the time. In this case, it would be BB. And with the new buff that she got, she's now getting a bunch of crit damage. She's getting a grant, a self on buff attack buff for t three turns. Oh, she's getting 20 crit stars when attacking with the extra attack. Man, this is a really good buff up skill. But anyway, I digress. Let me actually go to the girl in question. That's enough for the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Best of luck to you if you're going for your summons. I think she's definitely worth it. Though again, anniversary is close by, so please summon <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your Saturday. Until next time, peace out. Bye!